Hello all viewers and aspirants. We are back with another general aptitude video which is on mixtures and allegations. This topic is very important with respect to gate exam and some more exams like CAT, GMAT, GRE, banking and some company placement examinations. My name is Devashish and this is an H Sharpen production and we keep posting videos on educational hacks and contents. So lo, gyan pilo. Welcome back. So let us quickly see what will you learn at the end of this video. The basic underlying concept of making mixtures and how exactly the problems are designed. That's what we will see. Then we will see a mixture equation and how this equation is solved using allegation median and allegation alternate methods. This is a very compact summary of a big topic. There are numerous kinds of problems which can be made on this topic. But we are going to see a very basic concept to tackle each and every problem. So let us start. So let us first see why at all we mix things to create trade-off between the quality and the cost. Everybody wants higher quality, but nobody likes higher cost. But higher quality means higher cost. So basically we need to make trade-off to achieve required quality, but with minimum cost. That is exactly why we mix things. And there are numerous problems that can be designed on this particular concept. So the keywords here are the quality and the quantity. Quality can be represented in terms of cost, value or concentration and quantity is nothing but the amount of the substance which we are going to mix. So how is a problem designed in this particular section? So there are total six values a question can ask about. Let us see what are those. So basically, let us say we have substance A and substance B and when we add these two substance amounts, we get the amount of substance C. Alright, now let us say the quality of A is represented by X and the quality of B is represented by Y. After mixing A and B, we get different quality of the mixture. Let us say it is represented by Z. Now these are the six quantities a question can play with. So, out of these six, any five will be given and you will be asked to find out the sixth. But the catch here is, out of these six, only five are important because we already have one equation where we have written A plus B equals to C. So the amount of two products is given in the ratio or percentage of the total amount. So this is not given straightforward as addition, but it will always be given as A is to B or say a percent of C. So by knowing A and B, we can find out C. By knowing B and C, we can find out A. And by knowing A and C, we can find out B. Of course, X, Y and Z are the quality parameters are also known as mixture coefficients. These can be price, percentage of concentration or something else which can show quality. All right. So basically, x, y and z are known as mixture coefficients. Let us see more about these. Let us see what is a mixture equation. A mixture equation can be written as this. Quality of A into amount of A plus quality of B into amount of B and quality of mixture into total mixture amount. This is nothing but equilibrium equation of quality and the quantity. Another equation that we already have is C equals to A plus B. That means the total amount of mixture is nothing but the addition of individual amounts of the products. A is amount of product 1, B is amount of product 2, X is a mixture coefficient of product 1 and Y is a mixture coefficient of product 2. Now there are two methods to solve the mixture problems. One is allegation median and another is allegation alternate. Allegation is nothing but the method to solve a mixture problem. So basically we just rearrange this equation to get the allegation medial formula and manipulate this equation in some other way to get the allegation alternate formula. Let us see what are those. So before seeing allegation medial, let us first check one problem and we'll try to solve this problem using allegation medial formula and allegation alternate formula. So this is what a problem is. If two rice samples are mixed, one with 42 rupees per kg and other at 24 rupees per kg. So basically the prices of rice samples are different. That means the quality of the rice is different. Now, 
that 24 rupees kg rice is 25 kg available and the amount of the 42 rupees kg is to be mixed in this 25 kg rice all right which is going to be a so let us say this is b quantity and this is a unknown quantity we want to find out this a so that the mixture is of the quality of 32 rupees per kg now let us just revise the equation that we have ax plus by equals to cz now this is a very simple thing we don't know what is a but we know what is x x is nothing but the mixture coefficient which is in this case is the quality of a which is nothing but 42 rupees per kg so we'll write 42 into a plus what is b b is the quantity of product 2 or the rice sample 2 which is of 25 kg at 24 rupees per kg okay so this is b and this is y which must be equal to the quality of the mixture which is denoted by 32 rupees per kg into the total quantity of the mixture which is going to be a plus b which is a plus 25 now if we solve this equation we get 42 a plus 600 equals to 32 a plus 800 and if we rearrange we get 10 a equals to 200 and a equals to 20 kg now because B is also in kilograms, A should always be in kilograms. Remember, the mixture coefficient X, Y and Z all need to have same units while you put this into the formula. So we just found out the unknown required quantity of the product 1 to be mixed in a particular ratio so that we get a required mixture coefficient. This, this problem can be turned in different ways to ask different quantities. So what we do is we play with these six quantities and want to find out one unknown from the remaining known quantities. Let us solve this very example using allegation alternate method. We are using the same problem, but let us first see what do we do in this particular method. So there are two products. One is a dearer product or costlier product and one is a cheaper product now what we have to do is on one side we write cost dearer and quantity dearer so on left hand side we are writing the costlier product parameters in the upper hand we write the cost of it and we are interested in finding the quantity of it on the right hand side we write the cost of a cheaper product and just below it we write quantity of the cheaper product in the middle we write the cost of the mixture now what we have to do is we are interested in finding out the ratio of the quantity of the error product is to quantity of the cheaper product now how can we find it the simple method that we can follow is we subtract cost of the mixture from the cost of the dearer product so the cost of the mixture is required as 32 rupees per kg and cost of the dearer rice sample which is 42 rupees per kg we minus this and we get 10 and we write 10 here near the quantity of the cheaper product now we do the same thing but we subtract the cost of the cheaper product from the cost of the mixture which is 32 minus 24 and we write this near the quantity of the dearer product so this minus this we get 10 and this minus this we get 8 now what we have to do is the quantity of dearer is to quantity of cheaper is equal to 8 is to 10. So basically the quantity of the dearer product was A which was unknown and quantity of cheaper product which was B it was 25. And now because we know the ratio 8 divided by 10 is equal to A divided by 25 kg. We can find out A equal to 20 kg. So this is how we can apply the allegation alternate method to find out the unknown quantities. I hope you have understood.
there are more problems which can be made on mixtures and allegations and all of the problems can be solved by remembering the mixture equation which involves six quantities and allegation alternate method. The allegation medial method is also known as weighted mean method which is a very simple method to see. There are different quantities which can be found using allegation method. We will cover more problems if you request in the comment section. We will soon be floating more problems through videos on different allegations and mixture problems. If you are a gate aspirant, please let us know your branch so that we can select the previous year gate problems from that branch and float the video. If you are liking the content, please hit the subscribe button and let us know in the comments what more topics you want to study through this channel. Please like and share this video with more aspirants. Thank you for encouraging. We will see you soon with another video. Till then, Gyan Peter here.